morning to you. Hello, Shelly. Good morning to you. Good morning. I want to, you know, as a school principal, I run a school. And any time I come on assembly ground, I ginger the spirit of my students. I want to ask Mr. Senior Adeshino, and if he doesn't have the answer, I want him to encourage the president to come out and speak to if, us. If we could just ask your question. Yes, when is the president coming out to address us, as in to have a media chat with the press, so that from there he can speak <laughs> to us? Okay, Bikuni, thank you for calling me. Mr. Adeshino. Thank you. Um, I just want to encourage Mr. Bikuni not to continue to sound like a broken record. Um, when this COVID thing began, President should talk to us, President should talk to us, President should talk to us. He has had three national broadcasts within about a month. What else do they want? What else do they want? Some people think because either you elected a president or you didn't elect him, you must lead your president by the nose. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. The fact that you have elected a man does not mean then you begin to order him around. The president will do whatever is good for the country at any given M time. Mr. Adeshino, isn't the president elected by the people? Isn't he responsible to the people? He is quite responsible to the people, but the people don't have to lead him around by the nose. That's what I'm saying. Mm. The spokesperson to President Muhammadu Buhari, Femi Adeshino, has once again come under fire from Nigerians on social media platforms, following his comments rebuking a Nigerian soliciting for a presidential media chat. A man who identified himself as Mr. Ibikunle during a call in session on a live program on Nigeria Info FM implored Mr. Adeshino to encourage Mr. President Muhammadu Buhari to come out and speak to us Nigerians through a press chat with the president. In his reaction, Mr. Adeshino criticized the caller, saying, I just want to encourage Mr. Ibikule not to continue to sound like a broken record, Mr. Adeshino said. The spokesperson, in a rather mimicry tone, rebukes any brewing intention to demand another address from the president since he has addressed the nation thrice after serious clamor by Nigerians across social platforms in the last two months. When this COVID thing began, Nigerians should talk to, President should talk to us, the President should talk to us. He has had three national brokers within a month. What test do they want? What test do they want? People think because either you elected a president or you didn't elect him, you must lead your president by nose. It doesn't happen. Because you elected because you elected a man, then you begin to order him around. The president will do whatever is good for the country and give him time. Okay. Okay, he said that the president will do whatever is good for the country any given time. Mr. Additional said in a one forty one forty five seconds video currently among the top twenty trends in Nigeria. Meanwhile, as the country's economic activities spring to life on the second day of the easing its lockdown restrictions, premium times has observed the continuous flouting of the social distancing and other issued directives to curb the spread of the disease in the country. The clustered bank entrances and the ongoing just due to commercial vehicles in various parks within Abuja, Lagos and Ogun have been identified by many as factors that could have a negative impact on the country's increasing cases. So guys, uh, I think it's the same Femi Adesino that said when Nigerians were clamoring for the president to address the nation, he said it does not matter, that it does not mean that it's not necessary that he comes out to address the nation that other people have been working, those who have been assigned to do the job have been doing it, that what do they know the president for both? I think within that week or the following week, we now heard that uh, the president was going to give a broadcast, and which is really debatable. A lot of people are criticizing that. But that being said, 
Now, he said nobody can order the president around for the fact that you elected him or you didn't elect him, that the president knows what is good. So the question is that what is happening now to the president, everything is good. To him, everything is fine. Of course, we know the position of a family addition right from time. But for him to tell us that uh, nobody has the right to turn him around or to order him around, he must be ordered around because he's a, he's a servant to the people. But just like uh, this, the way Nigeria system has turned the whole thing to make all these leaders become demigods because they, they misuse the power. Just somebody hearing his opinion that, oh, my relations, uh, my family member was killed, my cows and everything. The next thing, they said the man insulted the president and the next thing, the man was jailed for 18 months and uh, with the option of fines. What, where does that happen? Where does that happen? Well, those are the things that they, they always do so that every other person will be quiet. But one thing I believe is that everybody cannot face the same direction. Everybody cannot be intimidated. Everybody cannot be quiet. No matter what, everybody cannot be quiet. The best thing to do, since this president came on board, he has never, if you have seen where he has uh entertain questions that people ask him questions i don't know maybe during his first term maybe the first two months but uh, as far as i know this president has never started that uh, you know have one-on-one -on -one with the people apart from all this uh, arranged arranged the uh, uh, whatever they always do why is he running what is he running for who is he running from why is it that they cannot entertain questions? Why? Why are they hiding him? Why is Femi Adesino hiding him? If you, if the president is up and doing, why will people be? Those are the simple, the simplest thing that you know that's supposed to be done. Just without even anybody saying it, it's part and parcel of governance. Media chat is the is the is the bane of governance because people want to hear from him what he thinks. Like uh, I read some uh, read in some places when somebody was asking. That NDCD said this, presidency said this, this one said this. That what did Buari say? What is his opinion on this? Oh, Femadation on said that president said this. Gabashi will say that president said it. Why the president cannot speak for himself? Now, because he has addressed a, a, a the he did broadcast, live broadcast, according to what he said, three times a month now. Oh, yeah, they should just, he has done what nobody has done. Is it too much for people to say, let him come and, and let us ask, ask him questions? Is it too much? Is it a taboo now? Is it a crime? If he's not being ordered around, who is, he going to, who is going to be ordering him around? After all, he's feeding on the taxpayers' money. He's feeding on the, 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 the taxes of the people that are calling for, for press chats or media chats. So let's hear what Nigerians are saying. That is just my own opinion. Uh, someone says here that... Uh, I know before the end of the two weeks sit at home, Nigeria will be coronavirus free in Jesus' name. Someone say, what is the lockdown all about when the negativity is still increasing? People are dying for hunger. No money, nothing, nothing. What a country. Billions of Naira has been given to the federal government for disbursement. But still, everything is still on pending nature. Over billions of Naira has been awarded for the National Assembly renovation. Are they going to sit on gold? On say, may God put full stop to this pandemic in Jesus' name. Useless government with fake information. Thieves, I pray may God direct the, this coronavirus to your various homes and wipe you all. <laughs> Someone says, when you were soliciting for the vote, you didn't talk like this too. I'm ashamed of coming from the same tribe with this man. Buari cables have hypnotized this Yoruba man. Another says here that a matter of style, you said, funny. This man is not serious. Femi history will not remember. History will not remember you because you are not doing the right thing. Which style are you? Which style? You are not serious at all. Uh, because Femi Additional said that is the uh, Buari style. You know, he has been saying is that is Buari style and nothing more. Someone said this that's not the best way. You will still tell us whom you work with one day, whether it's Jubri or Ju uh, Buari, who cannot chat with media. Every day you go write your mind given to read for us instead of him telling us his own mind. Someone said this is just a pure eye service. 
This is not the fair Miadishina people used to know. But at the same time, I'm not worried. Once you join politics, then some positive parts of of the life change. Is Jubri a Sudani, the Sudani poster? Young man, this is a PM for six years. PM for six years. You think we are Amajiri, Yoruba? Okay, we are IPOP. Okay, we are the servants of the Most High God. So, guys, uh, you know, we've not we've been hearing all of these things, and Femi Adishino has been coming out to say, Oh, this is a Buhari style. This is his style. He does not need to talk to people. Uh, you know, if the president's uh, elect not to have a media chat like this, like his predecessors, uh, preced uh, preced it is a matter of style. Every president has the right to determine the style he wants. He wants. <laughs> there is nothing we are not going to be seeing in this country under this government, under the Nigerian government, because even the past government, a lot of things that we were even seeing, we were experiencing, we were like, what kind of a, a country is this? And now this one has come. Another one will still come. Nigeria will still take it like that. That one will still come with his own style. Nigerians will still take it like that. We still talk. Some people will tell you it does not matter. Let us uh, face a uh, reality. And where is the reality now? People will tell you, oh, we that bring food to our table. Now, have you see? Are you are you seeing the food now? All of those little little things. They are the ones that have contributed to what we are experiencing today. Now, people will tell you, oh, now that won't bring food for our table. We've been saying it at the end of the day. Have we been able to eat to satisfaction? Are those things that we are saying they don't matter? The ones that we say they do matter, that we should concentrate on, on them. Where have they landed us? Where have they put us? That is what we are supposed to be talking about now. But February has said nobody has the right to order Buhari around. But when it comes to election, he will be jumping from places to places, moving from state to state. They will even be bragging that, oh, he was able to go around the country to campaign. So guys, let us hear your opinion concerning what additional said that nobody can order him around leave your comments below and let's have your take